Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 6 video, we're gonna be talking about 10 things that I want to see in trailer number two for Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes, it might be a couple months away. And of course, did trailer one give us so much? It did, but I want more. And these are the things that I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing when we get our eyes on the next Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. And of course, please do let me know in those comments down below what you're thinking as well, because I know this is gonna be a very discussion heavy video. So for starters, I'd love trailer number two to feature more about Jason. I feel like trailer number one focused on Lucia's story. We saw her obviously starting in jail or in a penitentiary. And we also saw things play out from really her eyes as she was the one doing the narrating towards the end of the trailer. So with trailer number two, I would like to see it focus a little bit more on Jason. What's his backstory? like? What's his involvement going to be during the game? What's his relationship with Lucia? I feel like that would be very interesting. I would also like to see Rockstar show us some areas of the world that we haven't seen before. I feel like for the most part in trailer number one, we saw a lot of Vice City in the mainland, which is great. Don't get me wrong. All of that is good and awesome. But so far, Rockstar has put a big emphasis on the entire state of Leonida. So I'd like to see it. If there's some theme parks, I'd like to see those. If there's a space center, I'd like to see that. One thing that I thought was really cool to see in trailer one was kind of glimpses of the Everglades and the Florida Keys and the wilderness and the animals. I would love to see more of that. That was one of the most impressive things with Red Dead Redemption 2, the animals and sort of the worlds outside of the towns and the cities. So I really hope Rockstar focuses on that. And I'd like to see more of those other little small time towns outside of Vice City. Focus on Port Gellhorn. Focus on some of the more interesting things that someone's going to see that and say, I can't wait to explore that for the first time. I'll give you an example. One of the first things I saw in one of the GTA 5 trailers was, oh my God, I cannot wait to go check out what is inside that shed at the top of Mount Chiliad. So give us something like that where we're really drawn in and we just want to see what's going on, different areas of the world than what we saw in trailer one. This one might be a little bit controversial because I don't know if everyone understood it, but I'd like to see more of the social media clips because I feel like that was Rockstar's way of trying to show us what the strangers and freaks and side missions and quests will be. And I feel like a massive part of Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be Rockstar parodying the state of Florida. Florida and all the crazy things that the Florida men and women do. And we clearly saw that in the trailer with just some of the ridiculous stuff featured. And I'd like to see more of that. Yes, I think parts of it should be serious, but I do think that there should be this element of Rockstar's humor and just the wild and wacky things we see in Grand Theft Auto. Some of the best parts of Red Dead Redemption 2 was running into the strangers and freaks, like those crazy incesty couple at the Aberdeen pig farm. Those guys were wild. But it was crazy to explore that as either Arthur or John. So please bring back more of the social media strangers and freak stuff. I thought that was fantastic. Moving on, something else I'd like to see, it is Grand Theft Auto after all. I'd like to see more of the new vehicles. We know that there's going to be some vehicles returning from GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 4, possibly even Grand Theft Auto Online, but I'd like to see some of the new cars in the Grand Theft Auto series that we're going to be able to get our hands on for the very first time. There was certainly a lot of vehicles shown off either directly or indirectly in the very first trailer, and I'd like Rockstar to focus even more on that because it does feel like car culture is going to be a big part of this Grand Theft Auto as well. I'd also like to see Rockstar give us a little bit of introduction to some of the side characters or accomplices that we're going to have in here. That's what Rockstar did with GTA 5 second trailer. We got introduced to Jimmy and Tracy and we got introduced to Amanda, so Michael's family, people like Lester, people that we would interact with in the world. Even Red Dead Redemption 2, we kind of got introduced to people in the Vanderlyn gang, whether that be Micah or Sadie Adler. So there was a handful of characters that we saw in the very first trailer outside of Jason and Lucia, but we obviously don't have names for them, and they certainly didn't have any audio or dialogue, so show us some of the other characters that we're going to run into on the streets of Vice City and in the state of Leonida. Another thing I'd like to see is to have a little bit more of the story established. Yes, we kind of have an idea of what's going on. Lucia is in jail. They sort of have this Bonnie and Clyde-esque relationship, but what's going on here? How do they get in trouble? Why are they on the run? Why do they need this life of crime? Give us a little bit more detail so that we can understand why these characters are important and why we should look forward to playing them when the game ultimately does come out 
in 2025. Now this next one isn't necessarily gameplay, but at the very end, I would like to see Rockstar narrow down a release date. So whether that be fall 2025, summer 2025, spring 2025, I guess we might as well go through all the seasons and say winter 2025. And with that, I would like to have the option to pre-order the game. That's something that I see in pretty much every single comment section of every video that I do. When do you think we're going to be able to pre-order this game? When do you think I can reserve my copy so that I'm guaranteed to get it because we know that this game is going to sell like crazy right out of the gate. So I would really like to see that a sort of release date or at least a release window that's more specific than 2025 as well as the ability to pre-order the game. I'd also like to see this trailer not take 12 months to come out. Unfortunately, that's what we've seen in the past with Rockstar is that it usually takes about 10 to 12 months for trailer number two to ultimately come out. Not saying that we're not going to get any information up until then because they might fill that time with screenshots or a new website or just simply details about the game. But hopefully we don't have to wait almost another year to get more footage of the incredible GTA 6. And I'd also like to see the trailer be at least as long as the first one. Rockstar kind of set a high bar with that being that it's 90 seconds or a minute and 30 seconds long. So hopefully this one is at least the same, if not upwards of two minutes. The more GTA 6 footage we can get, certainly the better. And I know this is certainly out of Rockstar's control, but hopefully trailer number two doesn't get leaked. That was so weird how that happened like nine hours before it was supposed to go live, how it had that crazy like Bitcoin watermark on the front of it. If you saw that, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully Rockstar do this on their own terms. They do it the way they want to do it. And they don't have it leaked to the world before it's supposed to come out. Because even if you don't make YouTube videos like myself, you probably were like, all right, I'm going to set aside whether it be a couple of minutes or a couple of hours to watch that trailer on December 5th at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And when it comes out at a different time, that screws up everyone's schedule. I'm sure there were some people that went to bed and woke up and said, cool, I've got 30 minutes till the trailer comes out, only to find out that it was leaked and Rockstar released the entire thing early. However, to play devil's advocate and in Rockstar's shoes, at least by putting the official thing out early, they essentially didn't let the leakers win. So you have to give them credit for that. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. This is going to be a very discussion heavy video, so let let me know what are you most looking forward to when Rockstar reveals trailer number two for GTA 6. Is it the cars, the worlds, the characters? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.